Hello folks, welcome back to Might and Magic. We're here for some reason, I don't remember what it is. It is good to see you again. Please, allow me to restore... Oh, okay. Um... Okay, so we've got... We've got instant restore of magic. Ah! Uh, oh, Queen Calindra is in Castle Blackfane. There is a word for what the monks of Castle Blue study. Yes, there is. Correct. You are truly a drawcat. Yay! Excuse me. Half a million experience. So we've got another new headset. Um, the previous new headset, the microphone was fixed distance from my mouth, so I had to jack the level. So that's why the the Galaxy of Heroes videos, the audio was weird, um, kind of metallic-y, and just not right. It was because I had to boost the levels in Windows, and then boost the levels in OBS. So hopefully this is better. Uh, yeah, let's take a look. Hey, we found some booty. Ooh, 12,000 gold, that's good. And Bruce found a whole bunch of stuff. What'd you find, Bruce? Mm, mm, power robes. Nothing special there. Platinum robes. Alright, so we are... That's not worth it. We are... Ah, that's right. We were going to go to the second level of Castle Calindra. So, here we are. Vaults. Some really uh, majestic... Broadsword. A trusty broadsword. A power broadsword. Um, there. Longbow. Sling. Platinum longbow, not bad. Iron sling, not bad. Emerald, platinum, gold crossbow. Yeah, uh, actually, the platinum might be an improvement. And you had the gold crossbow. So let's, let's, we'll look at that later. Alright, stairs down. Don't need those. Can't go up. Good enough. Not good enough. So some of these you need the skill to do it. And some of these you need the password to do it. Like they tell you it's you know, they, they, they tell you it's 10, 11, 12 or whatever it is. Come back to you. Continue. 
continues to blame himself for having allowed the evil Alamar to steal the cube, kidnap the queen, and give her to Count Blackfang. If only he would realize that what happened was beyond his control, that he was not responsible. Perhaps then he could recover and be himself again. I know for certain that he would think of a way to rescue the queen and the cube. But how? I have heard that there exists a songbird whose song is so sweet music that it immediately really uplifts the spirit of the listener. It has been said that this melodious songbird can be found in the dungeon on the Isle of Lost Souls. Please take this key. You'll need it to get in. Yeah. Screw you, Megan. The... The Isle of Lost Souls sucks hard. Okay, so that's uh, level two. Yeah, so the uh, the Isle of Lost Souls is terrible. So. Just in case uh, this microphone is terrible. Mm. Actually, I have no point in doing that. So just in case this microphone is terrible and I have to re-record. Oh, 
Oh, wow. Actually, you know what? to my madness. This is what I was looking for. Hmm, and gems. Nice. Yep. So this is, uh, that is Sandcaster. Uh, I figure we might as well finish doing the sewer. Probably something down here worth getting. Uh oh. Someone gone crazy. there'd be a trap if I stepped in the middle. Alright, I'll take the XP. Sure, why not? Where, where am I? Okay. The assumption is there is something down here. Ah, it costs right. fifty thousand gold to use a gym. Pay? Uh, no. It costs fifty. Okay, Enjoy. Pretty 
pretty sure I've got these skills, but you know. Oh, hey! Potions! And let's give everybody a I would say that was worth 50 grand. And I'm guessing that is... No, oh, well, let's rest. Yeah, I know, he's crazy. That's fine. Sandcaster. If we leave, we have to go through the sewers again. So let's see if we can get a key. Perhaps you, with your immense intellect, can help me figure this out. I'm working on a contract to supply the local blacksmith shop with more swords. He needs to have 270 swords at the end of 30 days. It currently takes my six apprentices a day and a half to make nine swords. How many more apprentices will I need to hire to finish this contract on time? Okay, so, we have a basic math problem. Allow me to pull up another, grab my other computer here, and open up Notepad. Needs 270 swords at the end of 30 days. takes six apprentices, 1.5 days, to make nine swords. So, I was not expecting to have to do this today. Alright, so 270 swords at the end of 30 days. So that is nine swords a day that he needs to make. Six apprentices can make nine swords in a day and a half, which means uh, each apprentice, <sighs> which means 12 apprentices would make 18 swords in a day and a half. Well, nine swords in a day and a half is divided by three is six swords in a day. So, six apprentices can make six swords in a day, so he needs three. Correct! I award you the Superior Intellect Award. I probably went about that much more complicatedly than I needed to, but we got it. Because I don't have the hint book open. So, you call yourself a merchant, eh? No, no. Well, tell me this then. If six apples and three pears cost 50. And you can buy nine pairs and three apples for the same 15 gold. What will it cost to buy 100 pairs? All right, I want to buy 100 pairs. So, 6A plus 3P equals 15. Also, 9P plus 3A equals... 15. This is just algebra. Nine pairs and three apples. Right. What does 100p equal? Alright, so. 6a plus 3p equals 9p plus 3a. Uh, man, it's been a long time since I've done this kind of algebra. All right, so let's uh, subtract three apples from each side. So 3a plus 3p equals 9p. And then subtract three pairs from each side, and we get three apples equals six pairs. 
divide both sides by 3, and 1 apple equals 2 pairs. So, we plug that into that, so 9 pairs. 1 apple is 2 pairs, so 9 plus 6, so pairs are 15, so it costs 100. Correct. I award you the Merchant's so Challenge basic Award. Uh, yeah, so, um, if you want to see it, if you want to see the math, our target was 100 pairs. Now, oh, this is going to be way too small to see, I just realized. Six apples plus three pairs equals 15. Nine pairs plus three apples equals 15. Therefore, 6A plus 3P equals 9P plus 3A. Um, subtract the pairs from both sides. Six apples. No. Subtract the apples from both sides. So three apples plus three pairs equals nine pairs. That's a little better. All right, and then we subtract the pairs from both sides. So three apples equals six pairs. Then we divide both sides by three, so an apple equals two pairs. So we plug that into the top, so we've got six. Uh, we pl I plugged it into the pairs, so nine pairs plus three apples, and an apple is two pairs, equals 15. So nine pairs plus six pairs equals 15. 15 pairs equals 15, pair equals 1. There you go. Oh. I spent so long. Because time passes when you're just standing around. I spent so long explaining that stupid math problem. Two years ago, Xenoc the wizard and Morgana the sorceress came to town with visions of conquest dancing through their heads. They plotted to ruin my good name and install themselves as head of their respective guilds. Now I am dethroned, and those rascals have led the guilds to their present wicked state of affairs. Will you help right the wrong that was done to me and the guilds? Sure. Good. I fear that it will be impossible to talk them from their lofty positions, so you will have to defeat them in battle. Good luck. I can do that. All right. Now, oh, this is... Not what I was planning on doing. here. Uh, next week, we will do Sandcaster as a whole. Um, okay, we've got all our armor. Unfortunately, this guy is cray-cray. Nothing I can do about it, short of casting a huge spell. So, until next time, folks. Hope you enjoyed the math, and have a good one.